Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Well here we are, it's January of 2020. Oh my goodness, it's hard to believe, you know, another year and another decade. And the first of a year always brings to mind something that happened to me a little over two decades ago. I was into motorcycles for a while, I don't know, midlife crisis or whatever, and I took a rider safety course. And in this course, the instructor said something that I thought was profound, and I think about it all the time. He says, look where you're going, because you'll go where you're looking. Now, <laughs> I love that. Now, with motorcycles, it's really important to always look where you're going, because your head and your vision determines where the bike's going to go. So, you, you know, like in anywhere, anytime you're going, particularly in curves or something, you got to look ahead and then when your, your face and your eyes are pointing that direction, your body and the bike will go that way. So it's very important with motorcycles. Uh, and we see it all the time, you know, on the highway. If somebody stopped on the highway, you know, law enforcement has somebody pulled over, somebody has a flat tire, somebody runs out of gas, you know, people look that way and sometimes they roll off the road and hit those cars that have been pulled over and they do that because they're going where they're looking now at the beginning of the year i think it's important and i usually try to apply this to my business what does it mean that you you go where you're looking look where you're going <clears throat> for me it means this, and and maybe even for you how do you set out a plan for the year looking ahead to where it is that you want to go so that that's where you will go. And the biggest thing for me is not to be distracted, right? Is to, to pick a, a place that you want to go, pick a focus, pick something that's important to you to accomplish uh, this year. And, you know, maybe um, it's greater art sales. Uh, maybe you want to have more recognition for your brand. Maybe you have a goal to be in more shows this year. <clears throat> Maybe you're trying to get into your first jury show. Uh, you know, maybe you're just starting to paint <clears throat> and you want to pursue painting, you know, as a pastime. Or you're saying, you know, I've been painting for a long time. This year is going to be the year, <clears throat> pardon me, that I go full tilt and open my own art business and just go for it. Uh, and I mean, that's awesome. That's incredible, and, and if you're there, congratulations to you, because that's amazing. Um, so think about where it is that you want to go this year, and that's where you need to look, because that's where you will go. If you get distracted by other things, you need to have a sort of blinders on. Here's, here's an example that I hear all the time from students in my classes, my workshops. They say, well, you know, I was looking at <clears throat> such and such <clears throat> over there on, on Instagram, and man, they are killing it on the art sales. I think I'm going to start doing what they're doing. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute now. Number one, it's not always greener on their side of the fence. I mean, they're trying to promote their brand. They're trying to look really good on social media, which a lot of people do. So you don't know, number one, if they're telling the truth, you know, how do you know? And what is killing it for art sales for you? You know, maybe somebody that's successful, maybe they sell 50 or 60 paintings a year. Maybe for you, you only sold one this year and you want to sell five paintings next year. It's all a matter of perspective. So please don't get distracted by social media for goodness sake. Don't follow the fads, follow your heart. And I'm gonna give you a tip. It was very important for me and this is what helped me is do what gives you the most joy in your heart and follow that. Because most likely, if it feels good here, it is good. That's telling you that's the path, right? If it feels good here and it's joyful and fulfilling and wonderful and it makes you happy, that is what you need to pursue. And don't worry about what other people are doing. Who cares <laughs> what other people are doing? I don't. I don't want, I don't look at a bunch of artists on YouTube or I don't look at any artists on YouTube. 
I don't look at any artist really on Instagram or Facebook or any of that. I don't care what other people are doing. I have a path and I have goals and I stay on that path and I try to do and be as good at all of that as I can be, right? So maybe that's what you should do this year, right? Focus on making your art better, your art business better, moving forward, getting less distracted, and I, pr I promise you, you'll have the most successful year that you've ever had. I hope you liked this video, I hope it was helpful for you. I would love for you to come and paint with me at one of the workshops that I'm doing across the country this year. I have a link to those workshops in the description below. Check those out, sign up, and I look forward to seeing you there. And if I don't, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.